Hello and welcome back to our online sessions series. In the last episode we started work on the ability to have the option to kick players from our lobby. In this episode we're going to actually add that functionality into our game along with some confirmation windows and notifications for the player. So let's start off with that confirmation window. Now for this I'm basically going to make it very similar to my error message widget. So I'm going to right click on this and duplicate it. And we'll call this one confirm kick widget and open this up and just edit the messaging that's going on here so we're going to do this one and call this one um, pick player and this text here will say um, are you sure you wish to kick or to remove this player from the lobby Some weird spelling out there you go so uh, we're going to give this little message to the, uh, the the host and we're going to have two buttons now we're going to have one that's cancel and one that's going to be confirmed so let's go down to our dismiss button here I'm going to change this text to say cancel and then i'm going to duplicate my dismiss button i'm going to duplicate this and we're going to rename this button here to confirm button and change the text inside of it to say confirm and if you want them to be side by side which I think I will uh, you have to make these wrapped in a horizontal box so over here I'm going to wrap the dismiss button with a horizontal box and put the confirm button also inside that they both share that space but then on the horizontal box though we're going to turn them to both fill the space there okay so when we made the new button we need to take the padding off of it so put that down to zero and there's our two buttons if we add some space in between them you can either add padding or you can use a spacer these work basically the same way but that, that way you can guarantee that they are uh, equal I'm just going to put that in the middle of our buttons here and I can change the size of it here to whatever I want. So do 30. And there's our confirm and cancel buttons. Compile and save this. And go to into the graph. On the graph here, we've got the on click for the dismiss button to remove from parent. That's fine. That's what we want. We then got the construct here, just changing the text we want to show here. We don't want this to be the case. The text is going to be static. I can get rid of this and plug that there. And I want to get rid of the text to display variable and get rid of the error message. Uh, no, 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 leave the error message text because it's not actually error message. Um, okay, and that's it for here. Then we've got the on click for the confirm button. Now this is going to be uh, dispatching back to our uh, menu. So we're going to click, click on clicked and make an event dispatcher. And we're going to confirm kick and drag this out and do call and we're going to remove the widget as well from the screen so we call confirm kick and we remove the from parent Hit compile and save that now we want to go back to our player card menu i'm going to get rid of my print string stuff now <clears throat> and we're going to go to the on click event for our kick button and on here, we are going to drag out and create the widget. And that is going to be the confirm kick widget. And we don't have to add it to uh, viewport because we already added it, that into the widget itself. So it's superfluous to do it twice. Uh, so what I'm going to do here now is take from the return value and bind event confirm kicked. And then we drag from the event make a custom event and we call this one kick player and so that will be the event that actually happens so let's test this out if I do a little print string in here and click compile and save okay 
and it is oh whoops I forgot to send over the return value to add to viewport add that to the screen okay so let's test this out in our game and see if it prints out when we choose to click, uh, kick a player so I'm going to join the lobby there it is and now I'll click on the player name click player from lobby are you sure you wish to remove the player from lobby confirm and they've got the print string happening there so that all works just as fine so next we need to actually handle the kicking of the player uh oh that error was because on the confirm kick widget i think we left the yeah add to viewport we can give it that file and save that okay so uh that's all fine next we need to actually handle the actual kicking so on the player card menu when it handles the kick what we need to do is tell the player that is on the uh card here their controller to go to a different level so go to the lobby controller and we're going to make a new event in here and we'll just put it here and we'll call this uh, kick from lobby I'll do kicked lobby there you go and from the kick from lobby this is going to be run and replicates only on owning client okay so when the server calls this function the client is the one that's going to run it not the server version or not any other client so from there we're going then to tell this thing to open a level by name uh not by name we'll do it by uh reference probably be quicker and choose the main menu so that will send the player out of the game into the main menu we then need to tell the game mode to update its information about who's in the game so when you leave a lobby uh leave a level the game mode actually has an event on there which triggers so you go to create a override function and you'll see on log out click on this and this will get you the controller here so we're going to take the connected players array out and we're going to do remove item and we're going to plug in the player controller into this ah that's because this is a different reference it's a lobby controller reference so let's just cast that to the controller first cast to lobby controller and then we need to plug in our reference there that's going to update the array accordingly and then we have to call this update player lists again update player lists file save that's the game mode handled we're going to go out here that's the lobby controller handled we can come out there firm kick that's all done and then a the player card menu we need to tell our um player to actually leave the game so on here we get the player info and we're going to split this we want the character this is the pawn and here we're going to get the controller of this and i want to then call the uh, cast to lobby controller so I can access my kick function and from there we're going to do kick from lobby so that will pull this and the server will have the owning client run this function compile and save this let's see how this works in game go to host match win match and win match we'll do both of them Okay, so they're both in the game there. I click on this first one here, kick player from lobby, confirm. And you can see the player list is updated and this player has gone back to the lobby. Now when I go to join match, they will still see the match in there because it's still being advertised because of the join session. And when I click on join though, you'll find that they can't join. And that's because they've been removed from the level okay the server thinks they're still in there therefore you can't add them again so that shouldn't let them in 
okay until the session has been restarted or, or, or refreshed in some kind of way then uh, they'll come, be able to come back in but if they come out of a session that they were previously in they won't be able to join it again like so okay and to show you again with this other player i'm going to click on player name click player from lobby confirm and the way they go back so now all i need to do is show a message to the player saying that they've been kicked from the game so for this i'm going to use the error message widget and i'm going in there and it don't have to do anything here because we're going to make the text be dynamic and change that's not an issue um we're going to come back out of here and then on the uh where is it main menu game mode so when you actually send a player to a level you can actually send some options across to them as well and then on the receiving end you can interpret those in options however you wish so in the main menu game mode here i'm going to get the options string and i will then put this into a switch on string now what we're going to do here on the begin play this is by the way um on the switch on string we're going to add a pin to this and the pin is going to be question mark kicked and this is important because every option you send across is going to come through with a question mark at the front this is like basically a query indicator so you've got kicked coming through with the question mark at the front there if it comes through with this we're going to create a widget and we're going to create the error message widget and on this text display we'll say you have been removed from the lobby by the host okay. and then we will take the error message and add that to viewport and now we have to just set the option string and that is set on whenever you call the open level node so if we go to the lobby controller where i've got open level after i get kicked i drag on this show not drag so click on the show advanced option you'll see options appear and here you can type in the word kicked you don't have to add the question mark they get added automatically by the engine anyway we just put in the word kicked and that should be okay compile and save this now let's just test this out and that should show up the other message so host join join press these until it appears there you go there you go okay so i'm going to kick this one from the game confirm so mine didn't work showing the error message and that's probably because we need to add a little delay to the switch on string here so just before the switch happens we'll put a little delay in this just gives it enough time to fetch the uh, option string and uh, where it needs to get to and it should then be able to do the switch on string so let's see if that's fixed it play and we'll do host and join when the land match okay and i'll click on here click play from lobby confirm and there there you go they go back to lobby and they've been given a message you have been removed from the lobby by the host they can now carry on like normal uh, and that's it that's how we kick the player from the lobby in the next episode we're going to go through the process of how to make them able to kick the player from the match so once the match has started how do you remove players if you need to remove them so join us on that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley we can watch that part plus many others before anyone else from just one dollar a month thank you to everyone who has supported me over on patreon and on youtube members i really couldn't be doing it without you guys so thank you again so much Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.